Okay, this video is going to be about clean and inspect ground ladders. Where we want to begin is with our PPE. Ensure that you have the proper PPE on to perform this inspection. Now we're going to go and inspect the beams. We have a fly section and we have a bed section. We want to make sure our beams are clean. We want to make sure that there's no debris, no dents, no fire damage. We also want to inspect the rungs as we go along. The rungs, we grab firmly. We want to try and move them. We want to make sure all the rungs are firm and without damage. Also that the rungs are also clean. At the butt of the ladder, we have butt spurs, okay? The butt spurs, you want to make sure that they're not broken, that they are also clean. If in fact you're inspecting a roof ladder, the roof ladder will have roof hooks. You want to make sure that these operate properly by pushing in and a quarter turn, okay? Make sure they both work well. Now, we want to inspect any of the gusset plates that are located along with all our rungs. We want to inspect all of them to make sure that they're not damaged. We want to make sure that all the rivets that are holding these plates on are all still there, that they're tight, that they're not loose. We also want to inspect our halyard. Our halyard, we're looking for fraying. We're looking for any kind of burn damage. We want to make sure that it's not been exposed to any type of a harsh chemical. Okay. We also want to inspect our pulley. We want to make sure that the pulley operates smoothly, that the pulley is clean. Okay. We also want to inspect our guides. Okay, we have a flat guide section located on the fly. We want to make sure that those are in good condition. We have a female section located on the bed portion of the ladder. We want to make sure that those are clean. That way we can inspect to make sure that this fly section moves freely. Also, on each section we'll have what's called a stop, okay? The bed section stop looks like that. You want to make sure that it is in place and very sturdy, okay? The fly section stop is located right here above this section. And you also want to make sure that it is in good condition, that there's no damage to it. The pause on a ladder. Okay, that's going to be these sections here. You want to make sure that they move freely, that they are clean. You want to make sure that they work like they're supposed to, that it locks in both, both paws. These are also called dogs. Okay. What we also want to inspect is heat sensor labels. Okay. We have several heat sensor labels located on both the fly section and the bed section. We want to make sure that none of those are discolored, indicating that it's been exposed to too much heat. We want to make sure that no one is painted on any portion of these ladders. We want to make sure that it's clean in its original condition. We want to make sure that the ladder has a proper NFPA and UL label. Those are usually located near the butt of the ladder on the bed section. And also an indicator of the length of the ladder.
after we've completed our inspection, we want to address cleaning needs, okay? We always clean per the manufacturer's specifications. Here at Bernalillo County, we use actually a mild soap and water. You use a soft bristle brush, and then you allow the, the ladder to dry. And that concludes clean and inspection of ground ladders.